So, isn't hashtag car life supposed to be glamorous? Whoa, look what showed up in the dead of night. Super cute little setup. To be car life glamorous, you need dry shampoo. Liberally used because, you know, this will be day four without a shower. Going feral. Then you need to make sexy coffee because everyone wants to see you make that a zillion times over and over again. Isn't this a beautiful shot? Well, right after this. Yeah, and here's what happens when you try to hurry your coffee along. Oops. The realities of car camping. Another mess clean. Do over. True Glam Camping was parked across the street, and I watched them like that crazy cat lady in every neighborhood. You know, the one that creeps on everybody. There you go. They just woke up, got in their car, with a cat and a dog, and I think a monopod, so they might be YouTubers. Anyway, and they just turned around and left. So easy. Oh my God, Airstream Envy. I've got a big time. So here's another element of car camping that I didn't really think about that's going to be a chore is ice melts. And this cooler is fantastic, but it doesn't have a drainer. So I'm going to have to dump this out and I'm going to have to do something, maybe get some trash compactor bags to like put around the ice bag because oh crap it's, oh crap i was gonna show you how my chocolate got all kind of screwed up because it got wet but now it's just all over the car yeah see got wet kind of screwed up <sighs> okay another mess to clean up <laughs> we're just having a great morning so there it was, another time-sucking glam camp chore I hadn't really anticipated. But you've got to roll with the punches on a trip like this, and it's so beautiful and peaceful out here. I just did what needed to be done. Quintopia, still ice cold, still waiting for me. So here's what's left of the ice. Look at all that water. Gotta get some new ice today. Okay, we are on our way, finally, to cleaning up all those messes and plan today is now I'm going to find this little short waterfall hike and then we've got to go back into town to do some errands but we'll explore as much as we can. So yeah, I think it's going to be a good day. Yes, it was way past time to get back to the glamorous part of this car life adventure and let me tell you, this amazing nearby hike did not disappoint. requires a day pass. It was super easy. They have this kiosk here. It just, it takes credit cards. You stick in your credit card, it charges five bucks and it spits out one of these. Dusty. Oh. Okay, so this is the Tumalo Falls trailhead. And as you can see, there is a pit toilet and you can hear the falls in the background. You can actually see them. You don't even have to walk really. 
and it's a pretty tight parking lot, pretty small, full on a Monday morning in the summer. was supposed to be like right on a gorgeous hike on a beautiful day these were the moments I dreamed of this was car life glam I'm not a narcissist I swear okay so I'm super glad that I came on not the weekend because for a Monday morning there's quite a few people out but not so bad that I can't find an alone moment which is great but yeah, I'm sure yesterday would have been a zoo, probably even into the evening. And I'm glad I came early too, because there aren't as many people. So yeah, this is a great little trail. I am not used to vlogging in public. Somebody just walked by while I was talking to the camera. She smiled, but she probably thinks I'm a freak. Hello. Hello. Okay, well, I'm glad I walked that extra 15 minutes or so because uh, the all trails had said that there was a, another set of waterfalls if you walked a little further, but I thought it was the one just above the main Tamala Falls. But yeah, if you walk another 15, 20 minutes, you'll get to another triple set of falls, which is pretty awesome. But it's time to head back and go into town and take care of some car life business. It is noon and look at this parking insanity. It just goes on and on and on and on. Boy, I am so glad I got my car washed right before coming on this trip. That was a great idea. Look how dirty my back window is. What could possibly be more glamorous? Ooh. Best avocado toast with dill. Oh my God, that sounds amazing. Yes, I'm a budget traveler, but every once in a while I like to eat out. So we're gonna go to this Canona Cafe and try their avocado toast. I don't know, that looks really, really busy. So it turns out that line was for the shaved ice place next door, not the cafe. So, found the parking, it's in the shade, got my avocado toast coming, it's a great day, look at this place. 
yes, I was living the dream, but not for long. Looks good. It's good. Not the best I've ever had, though. There's no deal anywhere on this. Maybe they changed the recipe. Yesterday, as you may recall, a service light came on telling me that I needed an oil change. So as I ate lunch, I had to do the research to find a good place to take care of that. So we're at the Valvoline Instant Oil Change. Pretty busy today, but gotta have fresh oil. We're here because they have the best Google reviews. Well, that took a while. <laughs> Not exactly an instant oil change, but the staff was nice and they got the job done. So now we're gonna go to the grocery store and get more ice and some trash compactor bags to keep it from leaking everywhere. And then we'll see what we do. An hour long oil change, not glamorous. Getting groceries and ice, not glamorous at all. And it was really hot out. At this point, my energy started going way downhill. Okay, so got the grocery shopping done, got ice. I was gonna go to a coffee shop and try to get some work done, but the place I wanted to go, back porch, it didn't have any parking in the shade. So then I tried to park in the neighborhood in the shade, but there was this girl who was kind of doing the same thing and staring at me. It was all kind of weird. So then I, then some guy walked by and saw me handling my camera. So I'm like, yeah, this is sketchy. So anyway, now I'm randomly down the street at this park called, it's called Pilot Butte. So I thought I would drive up here to see the view, which is looking pretty awesome and maybe see if there's any picnic tables and just maybe do a little work without the internet. Yeah, I still had fantasies of getting work done, documenting my adventures for YouTube, but... There we go. Okay, I think that's Mount Bachelor. I think maybe these are the three sisters. This is West Bend we're looking at. Rooms, yay. Wow, and Ben just keeps going. There's a lot more to this city than downtown. Okay, there were no picnic tables, but I did get to park in a speck of shade and the views were incredible. So it was a good find. It's getting late in the afternoon. I've spent a lot of money today on an oil change, which was like $97. I can't believe it's that expensive now that it is and um, groceries and, oh, avocado toast, I can't forget. So I think I'm gonna skip the cafe because I don't really need internet. I think maybe I just might look for a nice park with a picnic table and maybe try to get a little work done there. It's interesting, there's so much. I don't know what to do with this whole car lifestyle because I don't have a desk ready. I don't have a set place to go. I don't have set anything. So there's all of this trying to figure out what I'm gonna do and where I'm gonna go and how I'm gonna accomplish my goals. And I need to be putting out a video like yesterday. So uh, I think I think I haven't allotted enough time on this trip to actually make videos. Uh, <laughs> so I'm not sure when this one will come out. A lot of traffic in the old mill district. No parking there. Same place. No seating parking there either. Awesome. River. Kids are jumping off the bridge. So I'm checking out all the river parks looking for a shady spot to park and a shady picnic table to work at and it is busy 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 everywhere I go I mean everywhere <laughs> oh my god check out this super cute neighborhood I don't know if I'm gonna find any place anywhere near the river I finally 
finally did find a parking place, but it was in the sun, so I couldn't stay long due to all the electronics in my car. I walked to the park, took pictures of tubers, which looked like fun, and I soaked in the vibe for just a few moments. But frankly, I was tired of driving around looking for a place to land. All right, I give up. <laughs> I get to this park I've been to before, I find a nice parking spot in the shade, and then all the picnic tables are in the sun, except for this one, and there's a guy there. So I give up. It's four o'clock, it's getting late. I might as well just go find a nice campsite and just sit in the chair and hunch over the table and work that way, because it'll be far more relaxing and use less gas. <laughs> Okay, we are back in our original campsite for our final night in Bend, Oregon. And I need to get some work done. Let's see if I can do it. I'll get to work in a minute, I swear. My neighbor for the night, single female, two golden labs, super quiet. I got in it, woohoo! As you probably guessed, I didn't get much work done. Instead, I played with my fancy new camera, trying to figure out how it works so that I can make everything look glamorous. <laughs> yeah, the irony, I know. I nursed my beer, watched my neighbors, listened to the bugs, the birds, and absorbed the moments, which is what it's all about. Sometimes this is glamorous, sometimes not, but it's really about appreciating each and every moment on this journey as it unfolds. Next time, I make a big mistake with my schedule and end up someplace completely unexpected as we continue heading north. Oh yeah.